Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a video showing the mass, a mass in the porta hepatis, splenomegaly, and pericardial effusion. You can see this is liver, and this is the pericardial effusion. The fluid in the pericardial space. This is the pericardial effusion. The porta hepatis is a deep fissure in the inferior surface of the liver through which all the neurovascular structures except the hepatic veins or the neurovascular structures and hepatic ducts enter or leave the liver. It runs in the hepatodudinal ligament and contains right and left hepatic ducts, right and left branches of hepatic artery. Three vascular structures enter or leave the liver at the porta hepatis, the portal vein, the hepatic artery and common bile duct. Now you can see a mass in the porta hepatis. This mass is semi-solid to solid in consistency. Hepatic artery thrombosis and stenosis requires immediate attention to reduce to reduce graft loss in liver transplant recipients. Congenital, for example, cholidocal cyst and acquired, that is, for example, benign and malignant diseases of the biliary system can manifest as mass lesions in the porta hepatis. Now you can see this is the pancreas. And it looks ecomeco normal. The lymph nodes at porta hepatis lie interior and posterior to portal vein and extend downwards along the hepatodudinal ligament. Benign appearing lymph nodes are commonly encountered in the general population but rarely exceed 6 mm in short axis diameter. Again you can see the pericardial effusion. And now this is the mass in the porta hepatis. This is the mass. Now this is liver and finally you are going to see the spleen. Now you can see the spleen and it is slightly enlarged. You can see it measures about 13.5 centimeter which is slightly large. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.